Dr. Nachi Senna is back with us today, talking about the next chapter in his book, and that chapter is "Is the Price Right?" Good afternoon. Hi, baby. Good afternoon. Nice to be back. Yes, it's great to have you back. So, of course, this is an interesting chapter because there are certain things in life that you want, but yeah. if you've got to pay a certain yeah. amount for it, either in money or perhaps in other ways, yeah. you're got not going to want it anymore. I mean, you still want it, but you're not want to, yeah. to do the effort to get it. <laughs> Right, right. It's 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 so here. I'll I'll put it in a, in a slightly easier, perhaps way. Is that just because you like something doesn't mean it's good for you? It's one way of putting it. Or just because you like something doesn't mean it's a good deal, right? And and uh, for example, uh, uh, the the mic you're using right now, you know, obviously you like it. That's why you have it. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's a nice red color. It kind of pops out. You can see it. So. I can see why you like it, but imagine, like you know, you, you went to the shop and you saw the same kind of microphone and so on, and you asked the shopkeeper how much was it, and you then went on and told the guy. I said, "Listen, you know, I, I, I mean, I like this mic very much. As a matter of fact, I have got the exact same one. That's how much I like it. So that's out of question. My ability to like it is not being debated here. I really love it. Yeah. So can I have that one too, please?" The shopkeeper goes, "Of course, man, no problem. Here it is." And then you say, how much is that? And they go, well, 10,000 pounds. There you go. You go, whoa, man, whoa. I just told you I like it. You know? So that's not out of question. But is it worth the price you're asking me to pay? And then the answer is no. And then you're going to walk away. But that doesn't mean you didn't like it. It's just that the price you've been asked to pay is too much. And and the analogy, of course, in life that you, you, you very nicely hinted at earlier, it is that the price we pay sometimes is not necessarily always money is it is it's emotion time so how much of an emotion cost how much of an emotional burden or, or price is a person to is a relationship to me yeah. you know like you'll hear, you hear people say things like you know well that's how he is that's how she is and, you know but you know what i really like him and so on and yet there's such a massive amount of price that i'm paying in my emotional you know, abilities to 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 be happy or to be in a in a in a good relationship, and I don't ask myself, is being with that person worth the price I'm paying? Yeah. You know, and and if we are able to ask ourselves that question, then the idea that I like or not becomes immaterial because that's not even being discussed. We know you like it, yeah. or being with somebody, and we know you like the company, or you think you're really nice, but is it worth the price? Mm. And there are certain people in life that buy yeah. really expensive stuff, like maybe handbags or something, that are a ridiculous price, but they still do it. And why is that? Yeah. Because to them, it's worth the price. Whatever yeah. it is that you know, whatever it is that an individual feels is, and that's why it's important that that this is about at the most basic individual level, right? For example, the same person. Who who buys that really expensive bag or purse or whatever it is? Yeah. When they read the chapter, they would also relate to it, thinking that oh, I know what this guy means. I'm not going to buy the fifty thousand pound purse. I mean, or maybe I will, but I won't buy it if it was hundred thousand pound. So yeah. the, the the value we attach to certain things only I understand. I know how valuable something is to me, right? So if somebody looking at me can't judge or understand the, 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 the relevance of anything, whether it be to relationship or anything else, right? And so I have to be able to know myself how much is the price I'm really paying. Because I can lie too. You know, I buy that, I buy that microphone, pay 10,000 pounds, and then you ask me, I'll give it to you. You go, hey, how much was it, man? I thought, oh, I got it sold for 10 bucks. You go, oh, whoa, what a deal. So I just mm -hmm. lied to you because I want to look like, okay, no, I wasn't, I wasn't taken for a ride. Mm -hmm. But Sometimes that we do that in life too. When we realize that we're in a bad relationship or the deal we made wasn't good because we recognize that we're paying a high price, sometimes it's difficult to admit that we're paying a high price and it's not worth the price I paid for it mm, or yeah. I'm paying for it. Absolutely. I think we all sort of shave off a certain percentage when we see how much something cost, don't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or how much something costs in terms of, uh, uh, you know, uh, 
our emotions or or or, or our time or the impact it has on our lives yeah. you know i mean and that's why you see you know you hear the stuff that uh, oh they look really happy you remember things seem to be fine and then what happened yeah. you, you you almost always hear that when relationships break up right i mean oh it looked all right i mean they seem really happy blah blah what a perfect couple i mean mm-hmm. then suddenly so what really goes on there what happens what happens there is that the price that was being asked to pay by either of them to be in that was not worth it. And they weren't telling anybody that the deal was a bad one Yeah. until they did when they broke off. Yeah, absolutely. Well, is the price right is the name of the chapter. It sounds like a game show. In fact, I think it is. <laughs> but it's the name of the chapter from Dr. Nachi Sinna's book, Empowered and Strong Navigating Safely Through the Storms of life and we'll have you on again next week to talk about the next chapter closed doors bitterness and lost opportunities